welcome welcome my friends to my youtube channel and today we are going to look at one of the important topic on hvc that is on how to install flexible ducting one of the most neglected thing in hvc system when it comes to flexible ducts so today we are going to look at it very important when it comes to the air balancing the comfort level the indoor air quality of any building these are flexible ducts this is an insulated flexible duct this is uninsulated flexible ducts both are utilized this is generally utilized for in ventilation case is generally utilized in air conditioning case where we have got sandwich layer and there is insulation in between so hope you are aware of this but let me give you the practical aspect this is what i see of use of flexible duct and this is not right these pictures are taken from the real sites where i wherever i go look at how brutally they are used thus the whole aspect of having flexible ducts is to connect in the permanent degree system air terminal to main duct it cannot be like look at this it's got so many turns and then finally this air terminal look at this is completely cramped you will not have any air flow coming out of it look at this brutally installed and look at this the length of the flexible ducts these are not recommended these are not recommended so the correct way of installing flexible ducts is like this look at this duct which is installed to air terminal this is a duct it could be round it could be rectangular it has to be there is hanger over here here either you use a jubilee clamp which is a metal clamp to grip or to fix the flexible ducts over the collar of the ducts this is a collar this is a duct and there has to be a, a metal connection or a jubilee clamp then there has to be one more hanger to take care of sagging of the duct so it is properly installed over here similar thing what we do in air terminal side when we connect the same thing a metal connection or a jubilee clamp so there is a tightness over here there is a tightness over here the length should not exceed more than 2 meters so this is the whole purpose and this is how it has to be installed similar thing you can see over here this is a metal joint or a jubilee clamp and this is how it is installed so this is not the way to install this is the way to install and i thought i will bring up most neglected topic in hvc system thank you very much for patient listening please subscribe my channel follow me on youtube facebook linkedin and ajaskazi.com please give your comments valuable comments and suggestion so that i can go on improving myself thank you very much